it's time now to talk to our night sky guy, Andrew Fazekas. And boy, last night there was quite a show. What a frenzy last night, Andrew. Good morning. Well, good morning, Carrie. Well, it was so funny because we were here, uh, Chris Murphy and I, and the phones just did not stop lighting up. And, uh, and uh, can you shed some light on this meteor that went over the prairies last night? Yeah, the, exactly, and that's what it seems to have been, is a meteor that streaks through the, uh, through the western provinces from uh, Manitoba to Alberta. There, were, there are thousands of reports coming in, and even some really nice videos. If people are interested in seeing what it actually looked like, I've got some videos posted on my website, thenightskyguy.com, uh, and it was very, very spectacular. And it's, they think right now that it's early in the analysis, but we think it's somewhere the size of a sofa up to the size of a house, this rock wow. that actually went through the atmosphere. Now, well, did it land, Andrew? Well, that's the big question. Yeah, and people uh, are out there searching for possible pieces that may have actually landed scattered about in the prairies. Okay, so we haven't heard of any major catastrophe as a result of this. No, no, no probably no. small chunks, uh, you know, fist sized stones might have uh, landed in some farmer's field somewhere, most sure. likely. Well, Andrew, thanks so much for shedding the light, and, and, and uh, I'm going to go and take a look at your website because I really want to see the video of this. Uh, let's talk a little bit about stargazing. What's going on? Well, how about traveling back in time? Sure. Uh, you know, we <laughs> might, you know, a time machine we sometimes would love to have, and we don't have a physical time machine, but by looking up at the sky, you are looking back in time. And how about the ultimate look back time I is this autumn when you can see a galaxy. And this galaxy is, get this, is 2.6 million light years away. It's in the constellation Andromeda, which you can find by the, uh, the Pegas great square of Pegasus that you see on your screen. There's this like diamond-like shape. It's a giant square. You can't miss it in the eastern sky at around supper time. And then uh, you look just beside Pegasus, that is where Andromeda constellation is, Andromeda the princess, the mythological princess. And it's inside there that you find this, this fuzzy little patch of light you can see with the naked eye. And you can see, I've got a finder chart here. This is all on my website so people can check it out. It's very easy to find, but if you look with a pair of binoculars, you'll see the shape of it. It's a real galaxy and it's the closest one to our Milky Way. It's our basically next door neighbor. And it is, it's, it's, it's a beautiful sight, it's oval shape, and it's the farthest object the human eye can see without a telescope or binoculars, just unaided. And it's 2.6 million light years away. Well, that leads us to the cosmic quiz, <laughs> Andrew. All right, so let us know, what's the question? Well, talking about Andromeda, how big is the Andromeda galaxy? Is it A, half the size of the Milky Way, B, the same size as the Milky Way, or how about C, three times the size of the Milky Way? All right, we'll have the answer for everyone in just a few moments. Now, the northern lights are certainly spectacular uh, at best of times, but on Saturn, apparently, they're incredible. Yeah, if you think they're cool here on Earth, this is really a, 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 a neat sight. Uh, the Cassini spacecraft that's been whirling around Saturn for the last few years has snapped some really strange photographs of the north pole of Saturn. And uh, they've noticed this glow, and they've identified it as an, as an aurora, just like what we experience here, the northern lights in, in Canada. They've actually seen this over the north pole of, of, of Saturn. But the thing is that they have no way to explain how exactly they form. They don't seem to form the way that our physics, understanding of physics, is currently. This is an actual picture in infrared of what the, the, the Cassini took a picture of just uh, about a week ago. So it's, uh, we don't know, we're lost to explain how it actually works, but it's a beautiful aurora that's happening on another planet. And by the way, people should be on the lookout for auroras uh, throughout this weekend and into Tuesday because there might be some auroras in the northern sky here on Earth. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's give everyone the answer because this is, uh, is going to be a pretty big event to be able to look up in the sky and actually see this. Yeah, actually look back 2.6 million yeah. years. The answer how big Andromeda is, it's C, three times the size of the Milky Way with 300 billion stars <laughs> all shining away. Billions and billions and billions, <laughs> right, is our favorite <laughs> exactly. astronomer used to say. Uh, well, Andrew, thank you so very much. And, of course, I, I want everyone to go to your website. Can you please give them the website address? 
sure people can check out all the star charts at thenightskyguide.com. And you've got some terrific video of what happened with that meteor last night. That's right. All righty, Andrew, thanks so much. Have a terrific weekend. Clear skies. <laughs> thanks, Andrew. Bye-bye. All righty, we'll talk more about your national forecast and your details and what's going on as the system is approaching the Maritimes.